You can create these charts, change the aspect ratio of a picture, change picture from JPEG to PNG and so much more with ChatGPT code interpreter. Let's start. I have this CSV file that has more than 3200 records. I will upload this file in ChatGPT and provide the prompt create 10 different types of visual graphs to analyze this data. The file contains stock prices of Exxon Mobil stock for last 13 years. I will show you later how to download this file and stock prices for any other company later. For upload, go to ChatGPT and click on plus icon and then select the file to upload. After that, put the command create 10 different types of visual graphs to analyze this data. ChatGPT will provide the background stating the dataset contains information about Exxon Mobil Corporation XOM, stock prices, including columns for date, open, high, low, close, adjusted close, and volume. Let's visualize the data using 10 different types of graphs. 1. Line graph for the close price over time. 2. Volume traded over time. 3. Candlestick chart for a shorter time frame to show open, high, low, and close prices. 4. Histogram of close price distribution. 5. Box plot for the close price. 6. Moving average plot for close price. Etc. It will then start generating the first graph. It will provide some explanation of the graph like here is a line graph showing the close price over time. As you can see, the stock's closing price has seen various fluctuations throughout the period. And then it will proceed to create the next graph. It will show the second graph and will provide brief explanation of the graph as well such as the bar graph above depicts the volume of trades over time. Some peaks indicate days with particularly high trading volumes. It will keep doing the same thing for rest of the graphs. Now, if you would like to see all graphs at one place without any explanation so that you can download them to use them for your presentation all at once then you can put the command show all the graphs only in the prompt. Chat GPT will provide the type of graphs listing first such as 1. Line graph for the close price over time. 2. Volume traded over time. 3. Histogram of close price distribution. 4. Box plot for the close price. 5. Moving average plot for close price. Etc. and then show these graphs. You can then save this image by right-clicking and then clicking Save Image to Downloads. You can then use this image for your presentation or for any other purpose that you wanted these graphs. You can do this for any other stock or any data that you want to visualize as a stock. Now let me show you how to download this data that I used. For downloading data, go to www.finance.yahoo.com. Once there, enter Exxon Mobil in the search box and select Symbolism. Then click on Historical Data. Choose the period range for which you would like to select the data. In Show drop-down. You can select historical prices or dividends only or stock splits or capital gain. For our purpose, we will select, historical prices. For frequency, I will select daily. After making your selection, click on download. It will download the file onto your computer that you can use in chat GPT. You can download data for any other stock in the similar way. To use code interpreter, you need to subscribe to chat GPT plus membership. There is US dollars 20 charge per month for plus membership at present. As you can see in this screen, I have an option of plus where I can upload files and use ChatGPT plus membership features. I have another account where I do not have plus membership. As you can see on this account, I do not have the option of plus. To use code interpreter, you need to activate it. To activate code interpreter, click on three dots next to your user ID. Then, click on settings and beta. After that, click on beta features and activate code interpreter there. Once you activate code interpreter, you will see a tick mark next to code interpreter once you hover over to GPT-4. Now, let us look at another use case for code interpreter. We will use the same Exxon Mobil stock prices CSV file for this. Upload the file in ChatGPT and enter the command at 20% to each price. ChatGPT will read the structure of the file and will inform that it is reading the file. Once, it will read the structure, it will ask which columns you want to increase by 20%, i.e., whether it is date, opening price, highest price of the day, lowest price of the day, etc. I have given the instruction to increase all columns by 20%, except 8 column. Chat GPT will come back with the response stating the prices in each column, except for the date column, had been increased by 20%. Would you like me to save this updated data frame to a new CSV file for you? Say yes for your response. Chat GPT will then create the CSV file that you can download. Let me open previous CSV file and updated CSV file. As you can see, it has increased all columns by 20%. You can use this feature of ChatGPT for increasing your budget from year to year or any other kind of simulation that you would need. If you are liking this video so far, the please do not forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon button. Another use case for code interpreter is to change aspect ratio of an image. For example, I have this image and I want to change the aspect ratio of this image to 16 by 9. 
I will upload this image and provide the command to convert the image to aspect ratio 16 by 9. ChatGPT will come back with the response. To convert an image to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, there are two primary methods. 1. Cropping. This method involves trimming the image to fit the desired aspect ratio. Some parts of the image will be lost. 2. Padding. This method involves adding borders to the image to fit the desired aspect ratio. Nothing will be lost, but the image might have black, or any color, borders on the top slash bottom or sides. Which method would you like to use, cropping or padding? I responded by saying cropping. ChatGPT will create the image that you can download. As you can see, it did cut the upper part of the image. I need the upper part. I do not care if it cuts the lower part of the image. So I gave this response to ChatGPT, it did cut the top part of the picture. Show the top part of the picture. It will create a new image that you can download. Now, you can see that the upper part of the image is shown. You can also use it to change the file type. For example, I can change my image file from JPEG to PNG. For this, I will upload my image again in new chat. By the way, to open a new chat using keyboard, you can press Command plus Shift plus O in Apple. If you are working in Windows, then you can press Control plus Shift plus O. Once image is loaded in chat GPT, provide the command saying convert it into PNG. Chat GPT will convert the image to PNG that you can download. Last use case, that I would like to show in this video relates to extracting data from an image or picture. For this, let us capture a screenshot for which we need to extract data. Let us go to www.ascensionamerica.com. Click on Cloud Computing and then SAS. Capture this screen by press Shift plus Command plus 3 in Apple Computer. If you have Windows, then you can click on Print Screen button on the keyboard and then save that image on your computer. This is the image I downloaded. Once you have the screen print saved on your computer, then upload that file in ChatGPT. After file is uploaded to ChatGPT, put the command extract data from the screen. It will provide the information about how it is going to extract the data and then it will extract data from the screen. You can copy the data to your clipboard by clicking on copy icon and then use it for the purpose for which you have extracted it. For programmers, Code Interpreter has various use cases. Here is a list of use cases where Code Interpreter can be used by programmers. The ChatGPT Code Interpreter which can execute Python, can be valuable in many contexts. But even without executing Python, ChatGPT can be useful in various ways related to code and programming. Here are some use cases. 1. Code Review and Analysis ChatGPT can review code snippets and provide feedback on code quality, potential errors, or improvements. It can explain particular code segments and clarify doubts related to syntax, logic, or functions. 2. Teaching and Tutoring ChatGPT can be used as a teaching assistant to help students understand programming concepts. It can provide examples, best practices, and explain algorithms or data structures. 3. Syntax and Error Help Users can paste error messages, and ChatGPT can provide potential solutions or explanations. It can help correct syntax errors or provide alternative ways to write code. 4. Pseudocode Generation Given a problem, ChatGPT can help design the logic by providing pseudocode. It can help users structure their thoughts and approach before diving into actual coding. 5. Algorithm Explanation ChatGPT can provide detailed explanations of standard algorithms and data structures. It can discuss time complexity, use cases, and implementation details. 6. Code to English Translation For non-developers or beginners, ChatGPT can translate code snippets into plain English descriptions. This can help in understanding legacy code, onboarding new team members, or communicating with non-technical stakeholders. 7. Recommendation and Guidance Based on the user's needs, ChatGPT can recommend libraries, tools, or frameworks. It can guide users on best practices, design patterns, or architectural decisions. 8. Mock Interviews For interview practice, users can present coding problems, and ChatGPT can provide hints, solutions, or feedback. It can also pose algorithmic challenges or theoretical questions for users to solve. 9. Historical and Contextual Information ChatGPT can provide historical context or trivia about programming languages, famous algorithms, or notable figures in computer science. 10. Integration with IDEs ChatGPT can be integrated into integrated development environments, IDEs, as a helper tool. Users can query it without leaving their coding environment. These are just a few of the many ways ChatGPT can be useful in the realm of code and programming without executing Python. The adaptability and versatility of the model make it a valuable asset in many programming-related contexts. Hopefully, this video was useful for you.
If you liked the video, then please click on like, subscribe the channel and press on bell icon button for latest updates. If you would like to know about 20 use cases of ChatGPT, then please click on the video link above. Thanks for watching.